Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to enjoy this video, number one. I've been getting into reading this year. I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. I read four books this year. You would have seen on the thumbnail, the thumbnail, but I'm not going to show yet. So we're going to start off in the order that we did it. If you do happen to like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe down below and comment down below what other videos you want to see. We will start off in chronological order, which is The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. This is actually a wider book now thinking of it. It literally looks so big. This book follows a woman named Nora and she basically is going through, I don't know, like a dark time in her life where everything is just not as colorful. I don't really know how to explain this, but like it's not colorful ever since her parents died and a bunch of other things. And basically she dies, but she ends up in between life and death, which is the Midnight Library. And in the Midnight Library, she can pick between a bunch of books and then that will lead to a different life and she can go through as many lives as she wants and she has to try and find the right life for her it's always like midnight and if she doesn't find the right life before she actually dies the whole thing will collapse and you know something really bad might happen does she live does she not you guys have to find out um i highly recommend this i'm just checking my like notes right now because i have like a whole notes page on my books and everything i gave this a four out of five stars reason being also i haven't really read that much so i don't know if this will be a 4.5 stars 4.5 four out of five stars in a couple of months weeks whatever i loved how it was a self-help disguised in fiction you probably will get what i mean if you've read it or if you are reading it. This was my first book I ever read this year and I've read in a few years. I read To All the Boys I Love Before trilogy in 2020 and this was something that got me back into reading and it almost made me cry. Like this kind of got me like emotional, I guess, like near the end, which is weird because I don't really get emotional around books, but you, you never know. This book probably did make a lot of people cry, but I didn't cry, I'm just saying like, this book it was such a creative idea how like this girl could you know go through different lives it really makes me like want to be grateful for more stuff in my life and even if not every day is the best day you can make the most out of it if that makes sense but yeah highly recommend this book it four out of five midnight library by matt hey okay moving on to the second book the second book is probably going to be the only book I'll be giving five stars in this whole thing, but oh my god, Daisy Jones and the Six. Daisy Jones and the Six. Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is my first Taylor Jenkins Reid book. I need to read her other books. I am addicted to it. If this was a trilogy or like a there was another book, I would read it. I need I love this book so much. I would say I really connected to the characters. Not saying that like I connected to what they were doing. It was more of like, I just felt they were real. I was like their close friend. I, I don't know. This does involve like addiction and stuff. So if you kind of feel triggered by those, caution. There isn't a lot of smut scenes in this book. There isn't at all, I don't think. It's just like saying that it happened or they're talking about it talking about it makes me uncomfortable but there barely isn't anything in here if you just like light reads this makes me so happy i would love literally not read any other books if i could read this for the first time again now let's go on with the context of the book because i'm just rambling on about why i love it i thought they were real i thought they were real they are a band from the 70s going through fame struggling through addiction there's romance subplots and there's like and it's written in all dialogue i've never read a book like this before and it was just so captivating and easy to read five out of five guys please read this moving on to the next one that i read this year i actually made a video out of it it's the most recent video that i have right now and it's reading for 24 hours it's a failed challenge, but don't worry, we'll get there one day. We're going to do a 24-hour straight challenge, probably on the school holidays, because I don't have time for it right now. Beach Read by Emily Henry. Um, this is a 4 out of 5 right now. I'm going to be nice and write everything at a 4 out of 5, because I'm... 
I don't know. I haven't really read that much and I can't really say much of an opinion when you don't know that much. It was not a cringy book because there was like backstory on both of the characters. This is about two writers, Gus and January, and they're both like trying to write a book before the end of summer. So they decide to do like this competition and switch genres um, and see who can finish first. There is, I would say, a smut scene in here, so I just skip it. Obviously, some people might like reading it. I won't I won't say anything that's not me personally, obviously. I love this. Other than that, four out of five stars. It was a nice, like, ascending. I was just smiling mostly through this book because it made me so happy. I don't know, man. It was so nice, and I could easily see it in my head, visually see it in my head. It just felt so nice reading it. It was, like, really light lighthearted and it was easy to read and the last book it's pretty simple and quick but i'm currently reading they both die at the end i'm this far in the book so i'm almost done i think i can finish by tonight and then i'll let you know if this ever finishes i'll put an extra clip or whatever this book is so good i am going to give this a five stars when this is done because i almost cried in the middle of class um we finished doing our Haas test and i got free time because i finished early and i read for 20 minutes and i was on the verge of crying i don't know i think because it just like hit my heart in like the most painful way because if you haven't listened to my podcast with me and sam yet then you can go check that out i'll put it in the link in the description otherwise up there somewhere um but we were talking about grief and everything and this book when he was talking about his mom um it really hurt me this is a book that follows two characters mateo and rufus rufus i don't know how to say his name who get a call from death cast and they're like hey you're gonna die in the next 24 hours this is, has a lot of controversy controversy as in like do people like it do people not i personally love this and i'm not even done yet so i'm currently reading they both have them in class finished my assessment and i'm on the verge of tears rihanna's completing her assessment now oh. what oh, okay we're, we're reacting to this now guys what the hell is happening oh my god Five out of five stars. It literally made me tear up. I love the idea of the book. I like it. I just like it. The ending was brilliant. I don't know. It made me feel emotional. And now I'm gonna give this to Rihanna, but I'm probably gonna give her Daisy Jones. I don't know. And that is it for February's or our first ever book review of the month and i'm really excited to keep going on i'm going to make a new series called reading rambles and i will be rambling about books in the series so this is the second episode and we've just completed talking about all of the books that we read and i'm also going to add my tbr list i've actually added like can you guys guess what it is we're gonna start off with the unhoneymooners this is the first one that i saw in kmart and i was like this is cool i'll get it sure why not i actually have no idea what this book is about um i think it's about these two people who go on like a trip to hawaii and then the last copy of we were liars Apparently this is so good and it looks pretty short and I love shorter books because then I can finish it quicker And last but not least the hating game. It was the last one there guys It was hidden and I saw the spine and it said the hating game and guess what? I snatched it other than my TBR list and what I read this month. Thank you guys so much for watching Look how many books we'll be able to complete. I'll probably finish 
these three books in less than a month i will see you guys next time love you guys so much just thank you guys so much for supporting me and i hope you guys have a wonderful day i think one of my videos just hit 1000 um views which is insane i'm really grateful for that and i'm grateful for everyone who's supported me in the past few years months weeks days whatever thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye